Hello and welcome back to Mikey's Flight Deck. Today I will show you how you can cover your ceiling frame like this. To start clothing this main ceiling here, I will have to cover this small gap between the frame coverage and the start of the ceiling frame here. And to do this I will first extend this grey piece of MDF until here and then close the gap with a small stripe of this HDF plate. But to fix this HDF plate here I will have to glue an additional piece of wood onto this um, bottom frame here. I had to adapt the thickness of the stripe by hand to fit over the window frame coverage. And now hold your breath. Many of you have asked for it. And here it is, the return of the nail gun. I've marked the position of the upper opening level of the eyebrow windows here. And now I'm near to this level. And so I want to start and set my first stripe over the complete distance here. Like this. And there comes the advantage of these stripes here. Because they are very flexible. So I can bend and especially twist them. And I can set the stripe here to lay flat on this beam and I can press it here at this beam to lay also flat. And with this technique I can make um, a very natural looking and uh, organic looking shape. But there will be a little gap between this corner of um, these two um, beams here and the stripe and so I will have to cut a triangle to fit in here to uh, give the stripes a surface to lay on.
close and this gap to the overhead panel with this long stripe of wood here. And I do this in this direction because I think it will be easier to send down this long edge here if I need this space for a bigger overhead panel. To force these different stripes to a flat structure, I've cut some additional pieces of wood and will glue them onto the back. The overhanging edges were flattened with a hand plane. Now I started to prepare the glass clothes to save time during the laminating. I prepared the acrylic one with a bit of 6 troop A to prevent the mixture from running too much between the stripes. The next coat fully covered the last pieces of the glass clothes. To flatten the surface more, you should wait about 20 minutes until it starts to be less shiny and then you take a wet sponge and rub it over the surface to flatten all these uh, little mounds here. A longer filling and sanding session was needed to flatten the biggest slots. After the first coat of primer, last slots were filled. I finished the ceiling with another coat of primer, two coats of paint and a coat of clear varnish. Finally, everything is at its place again. I haven't done this small piece of MDF until now, but I think you can imagine what I will do just uh, cutting a piece of 12mm MDF 
painting it gray and screwing it in place. And that's all. Now I know the exact size of the opening for the eyebrow windows and I think this will be the part of my next video. And until then, if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel to stay informed about any upcoming new video from me, watch on my Facebook page or on my Instagram account where I'm posting pictures of my working steps from time to time. So I hope we'll see us soon back on the flight deck.